Hi everyone, welcome to Craft and Crochet. Today I bring another so beautiful and really easy baby blanket. This baby blanket is so beautiful and really easy to make. In my previous video, I show many beautiful baby blankets, but this baby blanket little bit special than another baby blanket. I made little bit big border for this baby blanket. It's coming beautiful finishing. This blanket is both sides look same. It's really easy to make, only two rows to repeat. Even beginners can make two. I'm gonna give you all details step by step. I really love this set. I made this set for the baby girl. If you wanna make the baby boy, you just need to change the color. I really love this set. I hope you will love too. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. If you're new for my channel, don't forget to join with my 100 of 1000 subscribers by clicking this subscribe button and the bell icon. If you missed my previous video, please click on my channel name Craft and Crochet. Under this video icon, you can get my all previous video in here. These all videos are with the subtitle too. Okay, before I start my new blanket, I'm going to show you my finish set. This is my finish set. I made this baby socks using basic socks. I add the two bow with the two little pom pom. And this baby hat, I'm using same pattern to make this baby hat. You can get the, this baby hat with the four different size, newborn to 12 month. And this baby cardigan, I made using same blanket pattern. This size for 0 to 3 month size. I'm going to give you this all link in the description down below. And this baby blanket is so beautiful. In my previous video, I'll show how to crochet this baby from. I made beautiful 3D border for this baby blanket. It's coming beautiful finishing. You can see it's coming beautiful finishing. I take around 7 hours to finish this baby blanket. You can see this both sides look same. This blanket pattern, only two rows to repeat. It's really easy. You can see it's two rows to repeat. It's both sides look same. I'm going to give you all details step by step. This is the rectangle shape blanket. It's really nice size baby blanket. It's coming this side around 40 inches. You can see it's 40 inches and other side is coming. This blanket high is coming around 41 inches. 41 inches. It's really nice size for baby. I really love this baby blanket. I made this baby blanket for the baby girl. If you want to make the baby boy, you just need to change the color. You can use the blue with the white color yarn. Or you can make even one color. I'm using two colors to make this baby blanket. This baby blanket main color is the white. Second color is the pink. Then I'm using main color white. Four yarn ball. We need main color four yarn ball. Main color yarn, we need two and half yarn ball for this blanket and one and half ball for the border. Second color, we need one yarn ball. Altogether, main color, we need four yarn ball. This yarn is double knitting yarn. This yarn recommend hook is four. This yarn ball have 100 gram, 330 meters. We need main color 4 yarn ball, second color 1 yarn ball. This one is double knitting yarn, have 100 gram. Recommend hook is 4 millimeter crochet hook and this yarn ball have a 300 meters. We need second color, almost 70 gram. I'm using 4 millimeter crochet hook to make this baby blanket. Altogether we need main color 4 yarn ball and second color around 70 gram. I um, start with the main color, white color yarn. For this baby blanket, we need without border, two and half yarn ball. I'm using this stitch counter. This one is really useful. If you don't have any this stitch 
counter you can use the different color yarn to begin this blanket is going side to side then I am going to start with the chain to begin slip knot and a chain one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I'm gonna mark in here one I have a ten I'm gonna mark in here one again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I have a 20 chain now I'm going to mark in here 2 now I have a 100 chain then I'm going to use this different color yarn I'm going to put this different color yarn behind a hook like this and start the chain again It look like this now I have a hundred and twenty chain here to here 20 and here have a hundred chain altogether hundred and twenty chain this hundred and twenty chain this measurement without border is coming This 120 chain is coming 30 inches. You can see it's 30 inches. Its centimeter is coming 76 centimeter 30 inches. This measurement is coming without border. This blanket pattern is going multiple of 4 plus 3. Then I'm going to add 3 more chain. 1, 2, and a 3. Now I have altogether 123 chain. I'm going to use this back loop. Row 1 start with the single crochet. Skip first chain into the next chain. 1 single crochet. Again into the next chain. 1 single crochet. Again into the next chain. 1 single crochet. Again into the next one single crochet again into the next one single crochet this first row is going into each chain one single crochet into this each chain one single crochet follow this pattern all around to this first row I am going to show you end of this first row now I am nearly finished this first row. I made into each chain one single crochet. Into this last chain one single crochet. Now I finished this first row. I made into each chain one single crochet. End of this first row I have altogether 122 single crochet. Next, I'm going to start row 2. Row 2, I'm going to start this pattern. You can see this pattern is going with the 3 double crochet, 1 double crochet to is coming side. Okay, I'm going to show you how to start the second row. Second row start with the chain 3 chain 1 2 3 turn your work other side this first three chain is the first double crochet for this last single crochet skip next single crochet into the third single crochet skip one into this third single crochet one double crochet 
into the next single crochet one double crochet again into the next single crochet one double crochet now I have a one two three double crochet you can see I skip one single crochet here into this skip single crochet space one double crochet go through this single crochet and double crochet make sure you have to take the same size as this double crochet next skip one single crochet into the next one double crochet into the next one double crochet again into the next single crochet one double crochet now I have a one two three double crochet fourth double crochet is going to this skip single crochet space you have to take the same size as other three double crochet and double crochet now I have a one two blocks next don't use this single crochet we already used this single crochet skip next single crochet into the next three single crochet to three double crochet one two three four double crochet is going to this skip single crochet space go through this single crochet space and double crochet make sure you have to take this double crochet same as the other three double crochets level now I finished three blocks it's coming like this you can see I made three double crochet four double crochet is going to this skip single crochet I'm going to show you one more skip one into the next three single crochet to three double crochet one two three into this skip single crochet space to four double crochet this four double crochet is going to this skip space it look like this follow this pattern skip one into the next three three double crochet fourth one is going to the skip space I'm going to show you end of this row how to finish this second row now I'm nearly finished this second row skip one into the next three single crochet to three double crochet four double crochet is going to this skip single crochet space again skip one single crochet into the next three single crochet to three single crochet sorry three double crochet one two three four double crochet is going to this skip single crochet space I have a one single crochet left into this last single crochet one double crochet you can see I start with this second row with the one double crochet this first three chain I'm going to count with the first double crochet I'm finished with the one double crochet now I finish two rows end of this second row I got this block let's see how many blocks I got I have one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 blocks. Next, I'm going to start row 3. Row 3 start with the chain 1. Turn your work other side into this double crochet top into the same space one single crochet now I have a one single crochet next one is going to this side double crochet into this double crochet one single crochet next into this three double crochet up to one single crochet now I have a two 
three, four, five. Five single crochet. Next is going into these blocks. One, two, three, four single crochet. One, two, three, and a four. This row is going into this each block four single crochet. Two, three, four. You can see I start with the five single crochet and next is going into each block four single crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this third row. I'm going to show you end of this third row. Third row finish with the five single crochet. Now we have nearly finished this third row. I made into each double crochet to one single crochet. Top up this third chain, one single crochet. Now I finished third row. End of this third row, I have 122 single crochet. Row 4, start with the chain 3. One, two, three. Turn your work other side. This first three chain is the first double crochet for this single crochet. Skip next single crochet into the next three single crochet to three double crochet. Skip one into the next one double crochet. Again into the next one double crochet. Into the next one double crochet. I have a three double crochet now into this skip single crochet space to one double crochet. This is the fourth double crochet. Again skip one single crochet into the next three single crochet to three double crochet. One, two, three. Four double crochet is going to this skip single crochet space make sure you have to take this four double crochet same level as the this three double crochet again skip one into the next three single crochet to three double crochet four double crochet is going to this skip single crochet space when you start the row four it look like this Follow this pattern all around to this row 4. I am going to show you end of this row 4. Now I am nearly finished this row 4. Skip one single crochet into the next three single crochet to three double crochet. Two, three, four double crochet is going to this skip single crochet space. I have a one single crochet left into this last single crochet one double crochet now i have finished row four end of this row four i have a same number of blocks i have a 30 blocks row five start with the same as the row one chain one turn your work other side into this double crochet top one single crochet into the next four double crochet two one single crochet, two, three, four, five. Into the next block, four single crochet, one, two, three, four. This row five is going into each double crochet, one single crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this row five. Now I am end of this row 5 into this last third chain, one single crochet. Next row 6 is start with the chain 3, 1, 2, 3, turn your work other side. This first 3 chain is the first double crochet. Skip one single crochet into the next 3 single crochet to 3 double crochet. 1, 2, 3. Fourth double crochet is going to this skip single crochet space. Again, 
skip one single crochet into the next three single crochet space three double crochet fourth double crochet is going to this skip single crochet space make sure you have to get this four double crochet same size as the other three double crochet skip one into the next one double crochet when you start the row 6, it looks like this. Follow this pattern all around to this row 6. I am going to show you end of this row 6. Now I am nearly finished this row 6. I have a 1 single crochet left into this last single crochet, 1 double crochet. Now I finished row 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Next row 7, start with the chain 1, turn your work other side. Into the same space, one single crochet into the next four double crochet to one single crochet. I hope you can understand this pattern now. Only two rows to repeat. Row one and row two is the repeat row. It's really easy. This blanket without border, this measurement for without border for this 30 blocks. You can continue this pattern to your blanket size. Next, I'm going to show you how to make this border. This 30 blocks is coming. This measurement without this blanket border, only for this blanket is coming. 30 inches. This 30 inches for this blanket without border, I'm going to make a little bit bigger border. This border is coming each side 5 inches. You can see here I have a 5 inches for this border. Next I am going to show you how to make this border for this blanket. You know this pattern now. You can continue this pattern to your blanket size. We need 82 rows for this blanket. I am going to show you end of this 82 rows. Now I am nearly finished this 82 rows. I take almost 5 hours to finish this 82 rows and a 2 and half yarn ball into this last single crochet, 1 double crochet. Now I finished 82 rows. It looks like this. It's so beautiful. This 82 rows is coming. Thirty-three inches. This is the rectangle shape blanket. This side have a, this blanket high is coming thirty-three inches, and this side is coming thirty inches. This pattern have only two rows to repeat. This eighty-two rows have a forty-one blocks. You can see here have a forty-one blocks. Then is coming 82 rows. This pattern have only 2 rows to repeat. I am going to show you one more thing. Some of them send me the picture in a Facebook group. Why this blanket is coming like this. Don't be panic if you got the right stitch on the first and the last row. You have to do it. Keep this corner together like this. It's not any wrong things if you got the right stitch keep this four corner together and pull this stitch like this to your blanket then it's coming right shape for your blanket you can see it's coming normal now i hope everyone is okay now next i'm going to show you how to make the border for this blanket i have 82 rows next i'm going to start the border for this blanket this the 82 row into this last double crochet into this side slip stitch into this double crochet slip stitch and round one start for this border start with the chain three into this same space one double crochet this first three chain I'm going to count first double crochet. Next is coming single crochet row into this single crochet, one double crochet. Again into this double crochet, two double crochet. 
1, 2, into the next single crochet, 1 double crochet, again into the next double crochet, 2 double crochet, follow this pattern, 1 single crochet to 1 double crochet, double crochet to 2 double crochet, follow this pattern to this first corner, now I'm nearly in the first corner, double crochet to 2 double crochet, single crochet to 1 double crochet, into this last single crochet, one double crochet. Now I have in this first side, 123 double crochet. Next I'm going to turn this corner in the first corner, chain one, into the same single crochet, one double crochet. Now I have in this corner, one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. In this side, Second side into this first single crochet, one double crochet. Again into the next single crochet, one double crochet. This side is going into each single crochet, one double crochet. Follow this pattern to this second corner. I'm going to show you end of this second corner. Now I'm um, in a second corner, I made into each single crochet one double crochet. Now I have in this side 122 double crochet, chain one into the same single crochet space, one double crochet. This corner turn with the double crochet, chain one into the same space, one double crochet into the next double crochet, two double crochet. Again into the next single crochet, one double crochet. This side is going same as the first side, double crochet to two double crochet, single crochet to one double crochet. Follow this pattern to this third corner. I'm going to show you how to turn in this third corner. Now I'm nearly in the third corner. Double crochet to two double crochet, single crochet to one single, sorry, one double crochet into this last double crochet to two double crochet. Now I have in this side 124 double crochet to this double crochet of double crochet, chain one into the same space, one more double crochet. This is the third corner. And this the fourth side. This side is going into each double crochet, one double crochet. You can see it's going into each double crochet, one double crochet. Follow this pattern all the way to the fourth corner. I'm going to show you how to turn in the fourth corner. Now I'm in a fourth corner. In this side, I have altogether 122 double crochet for the, this side. This cone is going chain 1 into the same space, 1 double crochet. Join with the first third chain using by slip stitch. This last double crochet is going to this side. Then it's coming. This both side is coming. 124 double crochet. Top and down is coming. 122 double crochet. Round 2 start with the. Now I'm in a second double crochet for this side. Chain 3. Into the next double crochet is going back force double crochet. Again into the next double crochet, back force double crochet. Again into the next double crochet, back force double crochet. This round two is going into each double crochet. Back force double crochet. 
you can see when you do the back force double crochet it's coming 3d line follow this pattern all the way to this first corner i'm going to show you how to turn in this corner now i'm nearly in the first corner i'm going to show you one corner at the old corner is going same way into this last double crochet for this corner two back force double crochet into the same double crochet one more back force double crochet next chain one into the next double crochet two more back force double crochet into the next back force double crochet this corner is going into this last two double crochet to going two back force double crochet chain one two back force double crochet then you can see in this 3d line for this side this each corner is going two back force double crochet chain one two back force double crochet follow this pattern to all the way to this first round now i'm in the fourth corner into this last double crochet to two back force double crochet chain one into this double crochet back force two back force double crochet join with the first third chain using by slip stitch now i'm finished two round for this border next round i'm going to start the round three start with into the next double crochet front four slip stitch and start with the chain three one two three into the next double crochet front four double crochet again into the next double crochet front four double crochet you can see we are start the round two with the back four double crochet round three is going with the front four double crochet then is coming this 3d line for the other side follow this pattern to this corner i'm going to show you how to turn this corner now i'm in this corner into this last double crochet two front four double crochet one into the same double crochet one more double crochet chain two one two into the next double crochet two front four double crochet one into the same double crochet one more double crochet sorry front four double crochet into the next double crochet front four double crochet this each corner going into this last double crochet two front four double crochet chain two two front four double crochet follow this pattern all around to this round three i'm going to show you end of this round three now i'm nearly finished this round three join with this first third chain using by slip stitch now i'm going to cut this white color yarn i've finished three round with the white color yarn you can see it's coming one 3d line for the front side one 3d side for the back side next i'm using second color second color i'm using this corner to four double crochet this corner to four double crochet i'm joining this second color this corner to four double crochet start with the chain three this the round four into the same space one more double crochet this first three chain is the first double crochet I skip next double crochet into the next double crochet two double crochet one two I skip one into the next two double crochet one two again skip one into the next two double crochet 
This round 4 is going to skip 1 double crochet into the next double crochet, 2 double crochet. Follow this pattern all the way to this first corner. Now I'm in the first corner. I'm going to show you only one corner. Other all corner is going same way. It looks like this. In this corner, it's going into this chain 2 space. 2 double crochet. 1, 2, chain 1. Into the same chain space, 2 double crochet. 1, 2, again chain 1. 2 more double crochet into the same space. 1, 2. You can see here have a 2 double crochet, chain 1, 2 double crochet, chain 1. Skip 1 double crochet into the next double crochet, 2 double crochet. Again skip 1 into the next 2 double crochet. This each corner going same like this is going with the 2 double crochet, chain 1, 2 double crochet, chain 1, 2 double crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this round. I'm going to show you end of this round. Now I'm nearly finished this round 4. Into this double crochet, 2 double crochet, skip 1 double crochet. Join with the first third chain using by slip stitch. Now I'm finished round 4. I'm going to cut this pink color yarn now. And tie it in here. Next I'm going to use the white color yarn round 5 I'm going to start in this space I'm joining this white color yarn start with the chain 3 into the same space one more double crochet skip next two double crochet into this space two double crochet 1, 2, skip next 2 double crochet into this space, 2 double crochet. Again skip this 2 double crochet into this space, 2 double crochet. This round 5 is going same like this. Follow this pattern to this first corner. Now I am in this first corner. I am going to show you only one corner. The whole corner is going same way. Here I have a 2 double crochet, skip 2 double crochet into this chain space, 2 double crochet. In the middle have a 2 double crochet. In here, skip 1 double crochet into this space, 1 double crochet. Chain 1 into the same space, 1 more double crochet. Skip next double crochet into this chain space. 2 double crochet. 1, 2. Skip next 2 double crochet into this space. 2 double crochet. This round 5, each corner going same like this. Is going with the 2 double crochet. Into this middle space. 1 double crochet. Chain 1. See, into the same space, one more double crochet. Into chain space, two double crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this round five. Now I'm nearly finishing this round five. Into this space, two double crochet. Join with the first third chain. This first third chain. Go through around to this third chain. And slip stitch. Round 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Round 6. Start with the chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Into the next double crochet. Back force double crochet. Again into the next double crochet. Back force double crochet. Again back force double crochet. This round 6 is going into each double crochet, back force double crochet, then it's coming same like this line for this round 6. Follow this pattern to this corner. 
Now I'm in this corner. Back force double crochet into each double crochet. Into this corner double crochet, one back force double crochet. Into this chain space, two double crochet, one, two, chain one. Into the same space, two more double crochet, one, two. Into the next double crochet, back force double crochet. Again into the next double crochet, back force double crochet. This round 6, each corner going same like this. Is going with the last double crochet to back force double crochet. Into this chain space, do double crochet, chain 1, 2 double crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this round 6. I'm going to show you end of this round 6. Now I'm going to finish this round 6. Into this last double crochet to back force double crochet go through this first third chain and slip stitch now I'm gonna cut this white color yarn and tie this white color yarn in here you can use the yarn needle to hide this yarn or you can hide this white color yarn same like this Next, I'm going to start round 7. You can see this each corner is coming beautiful finishing. Round 7 is this last double crochet is going to front force. Skip 1 into the next double crochet front force. Then mean this corner 2 skip 5 double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into this 6 double crochet. I'm going to join this into this 6 double crochet, second color yarn. Start with the chain 3. This round 3, sorry, round 7. Start with the back force double crochet. Into the next double crochet, front force double crochet. Again into the next double crochet, back force double crochet. Again front force double crochet. This round 7 is going back force double crochet and a front force double crochet. Follow this pattern all the way to this corner. I'm going to show you how to turn in this corner. Now I'm in the first corner. Back force double crochet. Now I have a 2 double crochet left. I gonna make into this board double crochet to front force double crochet into this chain space two double crochet one two chain two into the same space two more double crochet into the next double crochet front force double crochet into the next back force double crochet again front force double crochet this each corner is going to into this the two double crochet to front force double crochet chain space two double crochet chain two two double crochet follow this pattern all around to this round i'm going to show you end of this round back force double crochet finish with the front force double crochet now i finish round seven go through this first third chain and slip stitch You can see this each corner have a two double crochet with the front force double crochet. Next round eight, I'm going to start with the white color yarn. I'm going to tie this white color yarn next to this chain, third chain.
Next, I am using this pink color yarn with the white color yarn. Start with the chain 3. 1, 2, 3. I am going to let this pink color yarn. I am going to use this stitch marker to tie this pink color yarn. Next, I am using white color yarn for this round 8 into this front force double crochet to front force double crochet into the next back force double crochet to back force double crochet this first three chain is going to the back force double crochet again into the front force double crochet to front force double crochet back force double crochet to back force double crochet follow this pattern all the way to the first corner I'm going to show you how to turn in this first corner now I'm in the corner into this front force double crochet to front force double crochet now I'm finishing this side in this corner is going into the next double crochet, back force double crochet. This last double crochet is going to the front force double crochet. Into this chain 2 space, 2 double crochet. 1, 2, chain 2, 1, 2, into the same space, 2 more double crochet. 1, 2. Into this first double crochet for this corner, front force double crochet. Into the next double crochet, back force double crochet. Again, front force double crochet. This round, each corner going same way, is going this last two double crochet front force double crochet into this chain space two double crochet chain two two double crochet follow this pattern all around to this round now i am nearly finished this round eight with the front force and back force double crochet go through this third chain around to this third chain and pull this pink and white color yarn both I'm going to remove this stitch marker, go through this loop and again start with this both color with the chain 3. Round 9 start with the chain 3. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to let this pink color yarn, sorry white color yarn. I made the round 8 with the white color yarn then I'm gonna left the white color yarn and round 9 I'm gonna make with the pink color yarn this first three chain is the back force double crochet into the next front force double crochet to front force double crochet back force double crochet to back force double crochet this round is going front force double crochet to front force double crochet back force double crochet to back force double crochet follow this pattern to this corner now I'm in the, this corner into this double crochet back force double crochet into this last double crochet front force double crochet make sure when you turn this each corner is going front force double crochet into this chain space two double crochet chain two into the same space two more double crochet one two next double crochet is going front force double crochet next one is going back force double crochet next is going front force double crochet to front force double crochet back force double crochet to back force double crochet each corner is going in this last two double crochet front force double crochet now I have nearly finished this round 9. Finish with the front force double crochet. Go around to this third double crochet. Sorry, third 
chain and a slip stitch I'm gonna cut this pink color yarn now and tie this pink color yarn in here next I'm using white color yarn and pull this white color loop through this pink color last loop round 10 start with the chain 3 1 2 3 front force double crochet to front force double crochet back force double crochet to back force double crochet this round 10 is going front force double crochet to front force double crochet back force double crochet to back force double crochet I'm going to tie this pink color yarn in here you can use the yarn needle to hide this yarn this round 10 is corner going same way now I'm um, nearly finished this round 10 this corner is going same like a round 9 join with the first third chain using by slip stitch now I have finished 10 round 10 round 11 start with the chain 1 into this double crochet front for double crochet to back for single crochet again back for single sorry back for double crochet to single crochet this round 11 is going into each back force and front force double crochet to back for single crochet follow this pattern to this corner I'm going to show you how to turn in this corner now I'm in the first corner I'm going to show you one corner the whole corner is going same way into this chain 2 space 1 single crochet chain 1 1 single crochet into the next double crochet back 4 single crochet next is going into each double crochet to back 4 single crochet this round each corner is going 1 single crochet chain 1 1 single crochet for the chain 2 space now I am nearly finished this round 11 into each double crochet back 4 single crochet join with the first chain using by slip stitch next round 12 start with the into the next single crochet 1 single crochet you can see this the back four single crochet you have to use this back four single crochet skip two single crochet into the third single crochet one two three four five six double crochet skip two single crochet into the third single crochet single crochet again skip two single crochet into the third single crochet six double crochet one two three four five and a six double crochet skip two single crochet into the third single crochet single crochet this round 12 is going six double crochet into the third single crochet follow this pattern to this corner now I'm in the first corner skip two single crochet into this third single crochet single crochet into this chain space here corner have a chain space into this chain space one two three four five six seven double crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 double crochet. Skip 2 single crochet into the 3rd single crochet. Single crochet. Again, skip 2 single crochet into the 3rd single crochet. 6 double crochet. 
skip next two single crochet into the third single crochet again single crochet this round 12 is going in each corner each corner to seven double crochet follow this pattern all around to this round 12 now I'm nearly finished this round 12 join with the first shell go through this first shell and slip stitch next round 13 this is the last round you have a six shell go through this skip one double crochet go through this space and single crochet chain three one two three skip one double crochet into this space single crochet chain three into this space one single crochet chain three one single crochet chain three one single crochet now i have a four loop for this first shell one two three four skip this single crochet and this stitch first and last stitch go through this space single crochet chain three into 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 this space single crochet you skip this space with the single crochet go through this sing double crochet space and single crochet you can see each shell we need four loop follow this pattern to this first corner I'm going to show you how to turn in this first corner now I'm in a corner chain 3 into this space single crochet now I have a four loops for this shell skip this two space space with the single crochet into this space single crochet chain 3 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 into this space single crochet you skip this single crochet with this space single crochet you can see one two three four five loop for this corner shell this each corner is going same way each corner we need five loops for the shell and other old shell need four loops Follow this pattern all around to this round. Now I am nearly finished this round 13. Into this space, single crochet. Go through this first single crochet, slip stitch. Now I am going to cut this white color yarn. I made 13 round for this blanket. You can use the yarn needle to hide this yarn. I have a this much yarn left. I'm using four yarn ball. I have a this much white yarn left. And I take pink color yarn with this around 70 gram. I'm using this yarn to make this from. In my previous video, I show how to crochet this. If you missed that, I'll give you a link in the description down below. I'm using this white color yarn to add this crown for this blanket. I'm finished this baby blanket. I take almost seven hours to finish this baby blanket. I hope you will love it. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. When you finish this blanket, don't forget to share with me in our Facebook group. I'll give you all link in the description down below.
See you again with another video.